Each week, hundreds walk through the doors of Metropolitan Baptist Church to worship in the heart of the nation's capital. It's been a witness to history. Freed slaves formed the congregation during the Civil War almost 150 years ago. Since then, the church survived the Great Depression, two world wars, and 28 presidents. Now this body of believers faces its own challenge, moving. We did not seek this land. It was literally offered to us. And that is why we call it God's land in Largo. A growing congregation led to a planned move into Maryland. Nothing is a bad seat. So you can catch the people who are falling asleep. I'll see them every Sunday. <laughs> the project, once considered a blessing, has become an urgent prayer burden. Construction crews completed more than 50% of the new building when the economy imploded and credit dried up. The problem with all of that, of course, is that just at the time that we needed to do some refinancing work, that was the moment at which the national economy uh, fell through the bottom. Then came rising unemployment. With D.C.'s jobless rate over 10 percent, the recession hit Metropolitan Baptist Church and its individual members especially hard. Losing a paycheck means having less money to put in an offering plate, and that eventually forced Metropolitan from its original location to meet temporarily here at a local public charter school. The reality is that there's a choice that has to be made. And very often the choice is extremely stark. Shall I place food on the table for my children? Or shall I place money in the plate as I've been instructed? That's not an easy choice to make. With a rough road still ahead, Pastor Hicks is encouraging his congregation to keep the faith. What makes us different is that we do not shrink in the face of, of recession. We do not walk in fear in the face of recession, but we still rely upon the Word of God to be that lamp, to be that light, to give to us the calm and confident assurance that everything we need will be provided. And Metropolitan is not alone. According to Christianity Today, 40% of churches have seen at least a 2% drop in weekly giving since last year. A third estimates giving is the same, and 9% actually have seen an increase. One of those churches is called The Living Room in Martinsburg, West Virginia. The pastors took us to land where they're raising money for a 75,000 square foot performing arts and sports arena. We've captured a vision. You know, we're not asking people to give to need. We're just asking them to be part of something that's bigger than themselves. Yeah. And we're seeing that this is working and God's returning blessing to them. Metropolitan is also seeing God's blessing through partnerships with other churches. Those congregations have raised thousands of dollars despite their own hardships to help the historic church move to its future home. This principle of being your brother's keeper is championed by many leaders, including Los Angeles Bishop Noel Jones. The vessel that God uses. His megachurch, City of Refuge, has become just that, a refuge for struggling churches. Some have in excess, others have too little. We need to partner, but again, we have to get over our egos and all of the things that go with our territories and all that kind of stuff. It's about ministering to people. So I would say that we need to partner and we can get the job done. Pastor Hicks says the recession energizes him to preach about God's faithfulness. And for the members of Metropolitan Baptist Church, the economic downturn is just another opportunity for God to show his greatness. So I'm willing to wait and to see what God's going to do. I'm, I'm confident that through all of this, God's getting ready to do something so spectacular and so phenomenal that we can hardly understand it. We won't be able to believe it. John Jessup, CBN News, Washington.